There we go. So what an honor it is for me uh, to be here today amongst friends, family, and uh, a place that uh, I called home uh, not too many years ago. But to stand in front of you and to speak about something that I hold so dearly, remembering the sacrifices of our nation's heroes and the sacrifices of the families that have given uh, so much to each and every one of us. Today also, though, is about barbecues. It's about a day off, enjoying extra time spent with family and friends. I want you to enjoy that backyard barbecue or however you decide to spend this day. But I ask you this, please don't forget why. Why we get this opportunity. As I said before, I stand here today before you humbled to be sharing with you on this ever so special day. I can't begin to comprehend what those of you that have fought for this country have gone through and those families that have lost loved ones in defending our country, what they each and every one go through every day. For the last 47 years, I have been honored to carry my uncle's name, who lost his has lost his life in the Vietnam War. I was the first grandson born to the Sapp family after his death. Just recently, I was at our son's high school track meet when I was approached by a man who said, I heard the Sapp's name being announced. He said, would you happen to be Ben Sapp? And I said, yes. He replied, I went to school, high school with your uncle and ran track with him too. He said, being here today at this track meet and hearing the Sapp name brought back wonderful <coughs> memories of your uncle Benny. Oh wow, I wish he was still with us today. He ended with your uncle was a was a wonderful man. He said, be honored to carry his name. In memory of my Uncle Ben and so many others that have served and lost their lives, I will never forget why we're here today. This day is not only about remembering and thanking those that have served, but also remembering the families that have given their sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers for this country. I can't begin to know the feeling that my grandparents felt when they came home and saw that officer's car waiting for them to tell them that their son had died. Or the feelings that my aunts and uncles still have today living their lives without their brother. For all of you that have lost loved ones serving our country, may those around you never forget why we are here today. And may they show you the support and respect that you deserve. So please, please do spend some extra time with your loved ones today. Step back from the daily stresses and reflect on your freedoms so that many of our sons and daughters die to protect that. During that barbecue, remember why you have the luxury and freedom to enjoy it today. I'd also like at this time um, to give each and every one of you a challenge to be more like those that we're honoring today. Charlie Ernst, the basketball coach at the University of Finley, um, shared with me something, shared with me something a few weeks ago when I asked how good of a team he might have in the fall. He said that they'd have a good team, but what would make them a great team was when his players start playing, all of them, start playing for the name on the front of their jersey and not the names, the individual names on the back. These men and women that have fought for our country, fought for our country not for themselves as individuals or their individual names on their uniforms. They fought for our country, and this is why we have the freedom to gather here today and the freedom to spend time with families this afternoon. So I challenge you today, what if each of us were to get up every day and would live our lives not for ourselves individually, but for the lives of our God, our families, our communities, our state, and our country. Wow, what a better place, what a great place this country would be. And we would do this in honor of those that have served us and served before us. Thank you again for attending today. May God bless you, your families, and especially may God bless our troops and this country for which we live. Please go and remember again why we are here today. Thank you.